and welcome to my channel, my name is Yenny, and today I'm gonna show you how to make simple footwear for any size doll. Uh, here's all the things that you will need. You will need a fabric. I found the best uh, fabrics for this kind of footwear to be felt or some sort of wool knit that stretches slightly. Um, some yarn. And a, a th or thread of your choice, and scissors, and also you need your volunteer. Uh, let's get started! Okay, the first thing you need to do is to determine the size of the piece of fabric that you need. And I've done this by making sort of a square, and the length of the square is slightly longer than the doll's foot. If it, if it end up, ends up too big, it doesn't matter, we'll be able to trim it off later. But this is the basic shape that we'll be cutting out. We'll be cutting out two squares of the same size. I'm gonna show you how they look once I've cut them. And now I've got to cut off the squares. What you're gonna do is determine which side is up and which side is down. If you have a fabric that has uh, a side that you want to show and a side that you don't want to show, this is a good time to choose what you want them to look like. The fabric I've chosen is pretty similar on both sides and I, for these particular shoes, I want the detail work of how I've sewn them to show. So I'm gonna put the uh, good side up and twist them into triangles such as this. If you want uh, the sewing, the, 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 the sewing work not to show, you might want to put it th them the other way around. But after you've done this, what you do is you take your doll and take a look at the leg of the doll. And what you have to do is determine how big of a hole the leg needs to go through. If you make it too small, you won't be able to put the shoes back on. So. If it's a stretchy fabric, that will help you a bit. I've determined that I need about this much. This much of uh, stuff to be sewn shut. And this part here will be left open. For now, anyway. So the doll's leg can slide in very easily. The next thing I'm gonna do is just sew from here to here in a relatively straight, straightforward line. You can do, uh, if you want to do something neat that will show here, you can. Uh, I'm just gonna use a very standard blanket stitch, I think. I think that's what it's called. But I'll show you when it's done. And now I've sewn it shut. We have our triangle. And basically, this is the minimum amount that you need to call this done. So, depending on how uh, stretchy your fabric is, it might be more form-fitting than this. I made this a bit too big, but I don't mind because I'm gonna need her to be able to wear socks underneath this. But basically, now all you have to do is style them however you like. Um, you can also, at this time, flip them over and you'll get a slightly smaller shoe. This is an easy way to fix uh, fix it up if you've made your shoe too big. It just means that the detail work you may have created while, um, while sewing it shut will not be visible. But yeah, this is how they look. I'm gonna make the other one uh, and I'm gonna show you how how that looks. And here they are! I think these are the easiest footwear you could make for a doll, ever. And there's a lot of variety that you can create. At this point you can add details here, you can cut this entire thing off if you want to. You can cut it off and replace it with a like a rectangle if you want the, the bo them to be boots. Or you can just leave them here uh, so that they are a bit of extra detail. I'm not gonna put anything extra on these ones, because I want them to be rather simple. 
but you can do anything you want with yours. But hey, uh, that's all I got for this. These are very, very simple, so I don't really have a lot more to say. Um, if you like this, do let me know, because I have other ideas that I could show you, such as making of a medieval type, easy make of a medieval type shirt, no patterns required. Again, for any size, the same instructions apply. But yeah, um, do let me know what you think about that. And thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.